Well, it's been a little while, but I want to give a little update on some of the progress. You can kind of see we've got a we got a roof. We've got our shear panel up, some other things. So I'll walk you around and just give you a better look at what's been installed in the last few weeks. Okay, so here's our garage. Got a little bit of sun going on there, but you can see it's got some nice high ceilings. It's about 10 foot four on the high side. Right here we have access into the house, existing house. This is a little pantry in here. Door's gonna have to be replaced. So this is an 14, no sorry, 18 by 20 garage. We're gonna have a little electric vehicle charging charger right over there and then over on this side right along this wall is where the electrical will stub up for the garage sub panel the gas as well as the water so it's going to all stub up here tie into the existing mains And then the sub panel for the ADU will be right over on this wall, right here behind the, the door. And here we are on the front again. So this will be corridor down to the front door of the ADU. We've got a bedroom window here. Front door and the living room window. These two planters are going to be relocated, so this will be have a little bit of a sitting area. And as you come in here, um, here is a kitchen nook right there. Again, it's going to have 10 foot ceilings, and then it slopes down. This will be from the kitchen into the living room. Here we have a little hallway, bedroom. Our sub panel is gonna go right here behind the door. So, and then we'll have a little, we'll have a closet here on this wall. As you walk into the bathroom, here's your toilet. Tub will go right here sink and then a little laundry room right here so a couple things on the the walls between say for example the garage and the adu this is going to be a one hour fire rated wall which is required anytime you separate the dwelling from a garage we're also going to put a soundproofing layer of drywall on this side so on top of the one one hour fire rating we're going to put an additional layer of soundproofing drywall and then on the separation walls between the existing residence and the adu say for example here in the bathroom and the kitchen you can see the plywood there is our existing exterior wall for our living room. So we have a double wall here with uh, about a one inch gap between, and we're gonna put soundproofing on both sides of the wall. So this side will have a soundproof layer. I think we're gonna use sound, sound wall or soundboard. On the inside, we're gonna put a double layer with green glue. And that should give us a pretty high STC rating. Um, so that we won't hear each other. They won't hear us and we won't hear them. Cool. And then this is the backside of the house. You can see we have a spa 
in the little deck there. So we've got no windows on this side of the ADU. It's for privacy for them and for us. Uh, they will have a little six foot fence over here that we're gonna put on the wall. Of course, this construction barrier will come down, um, but that gives them a little bit of yard, but it also gives them privacy so that they're not looking into our backyard. And then this is a fire rated eave. So because of the canyons that we have around, they consider it a high fire zone. So you see there, we had to install an extra layer. There we go. We had to install an extra layer of blocks here in between the rafter tails then a piece of 5 8 fire rated drywall then the fascia so there's a few different options that you can use uh, for the city but this is one that we chose i think it's the best option for what we're installing here and then we're gonna end up putting cement board for the soffit so it, it's similar to Hardy Backer you can see here they're, they're basically quarter inch uh, by 12 foot sheets and so if you nail that right up into the bottom of the soffit and then we're gonna have to skim I'm sure we're gonna have to skim the joints and the nails and things like that but then you you basically have a fire rated eave so you see there's no ventilation in a fire rated eave. So it's all fire blocked here. These are all fire blocks. And then you got your, your cement board or stucco soffit you can also use, which requires that you use a different insulation system. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But basically, in order to get an R30 uh, insulation, we have to use two inches of rigid and then six inches of bat. So we'll get like an 11.4 R rating on the rigid and then a 19 on the bat, and that will give us an R30 for the roof. And the reason that you use that uh, two insulation is because there's no ventilation, so it minimizes the condensation that you will get up in there because there's no way for water to get out if it gets in, so you have to double insulate it like that. But once we get to that insulation phase, I'll, I'll post that so you get an idea how it's installed and then what it looks like. So that's basically our three month update. And we have a call in today for a sheeting inspection for the roof sheeting. So we're hoping to get that signed off so that we can go ahead and dry in the roof. We did have a couple storms roll through here and dump quite a bit of water. So hopefully we'll get uh, our inspection so that we can, we can dry that in. And then later this week, we're gonna start the mechanical and plumbing rough in. And next week, the electrical rough in. So hopefully in about 10 days, uh, we should be able to call for a rough in uh, inspection for the mechanical, plumbing, electrical, as well as the framing. And then if we get the go ahead, we can go ahead and start insulating. So looking forward to that. If you had any questions about anything we showed today or we discussed, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I will respond and we'll see you on the next update.